All right, guys, it's Wednesday, April the 6th. Here's what I'm looking at today. Here at Space Weather, we're talking about this double asteroid flyby. And there's several new close approaches, as you can see here. They claim none of them are really large enough to do any damage, but... Who knows? And we have a geomagnetic storm in progress right now. As you can see, it's pretty significant. This is most likely due to that huge CME they had a couple days ago. Here we have the Internet Seismic Servers back online, but as you can see, the data is incomplete. Lots of missing data here. So they could be having technical issues, or maybe it could be something more. I have this story here. FBI memo reveals ABC News journalist was treated as an informant. A declassified FBI memo revealed today that the Bureau kept a senior ABC News journalist as a potential confidential informant during the 1990s. The journalist who was not named was repeatedly questioned for information about the Oklahoma City bombing. So once again, this is the boys and girls at the United States government messing around in the shadows like they do. And lastly here, I want to discuss these radar anomalies that everyone seems to be bringing up here and there. This is a recent one over Australia. So let's think about this for a minute. What if these anomalies are not anything like we think they are? What if they're not HARP? What if they're something else like... Maybe this has been edited, you know, to mislead us or disinformation, whatever. Or, you know, what if this is a dimensional object that is beyond our viewing capacity? You know, so many don't believe anything until they see it, they hear it, they smell it. There's a lot of things that our senses can't perceive, so just put it into your brain, people. Maybe, maybe it's not HARP. I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it's not, but it could be something that maybe we have no idea at all, you know. As soon as anything happens, everyone's quick to blame HARP. And there's no doubt some malicious goings-on at the HARP facility. And they're not telling us everything that's going on, but keep your mind open, people. More to come.